Hi everyone, working this GCSE Higher Revision video. There's 11 days to go into your GCSE exam, so keep up the hard work, you're doing really, really well. And today we're going to be focusing on the topic of geometric progressions. So we're going to be looking at those sequences and progressions where instead of adding the same number each time, we're multiplying by the same number each time. So it might be you're multiplying by a number like 2 or 3 or 4 or even 0.7 and so on where it's getting smaller. So we're going to be looking at geometric progressions today and I'm going to give you some questions for you to try as well. And I'll also look at some trickier questions involving geometric progressions, some involving algebra. So in this video, we're going to look at geometric progressions, so let's get started. Hi, today we're going to look at geometric progressions or geometric sequences. So we've looked at linear sequences, so they're sequences that go up or down by the same amount each time. I've also looked at quadratic sequences, and those are the sequences where the second differences are the same. But in this video, we're going to look at geometric progressions or geometric sequences, and they're ones where the next term is found by multiplying the previous term by a constant number. So if we have a look at this sequence of numbers here, we've got 7, 21, 63, 189. And if we have a look, if we multiply by 3, so we multiply the first time by 3, we get 21. If we multiply by 3 again, we get 63. If we multiply by 3 again, we get 189. If we want to get the next term, we would multiply by 3 again and so on. So this is a geometric sequence. We're multiplying by 3 each time. So in this video, we're going to look at these geometric progressions and sequences. We're going to look at some questions where we've got to find the next term. And then we're going to look at some other questions. So it's important to know what these are. So let's have a look at some questions. So here we've got some geometric progressions. I want you to find the next two terms for each of them. So press pause now and find the next two terms terms of both of these geometric progressions. Okay, if we have a look at the first one, well, to get from 4 to 8, we multiply by 2, so we multiply by 2. To get from 8 to 16, we multiply by 2. So the next term would be, well, 16 multiplied by 2 would be 32, and if we multiply by 2 again, we would get 64. So the next two terms are 32 and 64, and that's it. And if you got those, well done. Okay, let's look at our next one. So our next one, we've got 3, 60, 1,200. So to find our common ratio, the number we're multiplying by each time, we can just divide the second term by the first term. So if you divide a term by the previous term, you'll find the common ratio, the number you're multiplying by each time. So if we do 60 divided by 3, well, 60 divided by 3 is equal to 20. So if we, that means we're multiplying by 20. And we'll multiply by 20 again. And let's just check that. 3 times 20 is 60. And 60 times 20 is 1,200 and so on. Now we're asked to find the next two terms. So we're going to do 1,200 multiplied by 20. And that will be equal to 24,000. And then the next one, we're going to take our 24,000 and then multiply by 20 again. And that's equal to 480,000. And that's it. So they would be the next two terms. And if you got those, well done. Okay, let's have a look at our next question. Okay, let's have a look at our next question. So our next question, we've been asked to circle the geometric sequence. So we've got four sequences, and we've got to circle the geometric one. So feel free to press pause now and see if you can figure out which of these sequences is the geometric one. Okay, so our first one, well, we've got 11, 9, 7, and 5. We're going down by 2 each time. So we're taking away 2, taking away 2, taking away 2. So that's not a geometric sequence. That's a linear sequence. It's going down by 2 each time. So that's not a geometric sequence. Okay, let's have a look at our next one. We've got 1, 4, 9, 16. Well, these are square numbers. That's going to be a quadratic sequence. So let's have a look. We're going up by 3, and then by 5, and then by 7. And then the second differences are 2 and 2. So that's a quadratic sequence. So that's obviously not geometric. We're not multiplying by the same number each time. The next sequence, well, that one's clearly a linear sequence. We're adding 10, adding 10, adding 10. So that's a linear sequence. So the last one. Well, to get from 1 to 4, we multiply by 4. To get from 4 to 16, we multiply by 4. To get from 16 to 64, we multiply by 4. So that is a geometric sequence so that's a geometric sequence so that's the one you should circle and if you got that well done okay let's have a look at our next question so our next question says the third term of a geometric sequence is 80 and the fourth term of a geometric sequence is 20 and you've been asked to work out the difference between the first term and the fifth term of the sequence so feel free to press pause now and work out the difference between the first term and the fifth term of this geometric sequence okay so in this question i'm actually just going to jot down the sequence so we don't know the first term we don't know the second term. We know the third term is equal to 80, so that's 80. The fourth term is 20, and we don't know the fifth term. And we want to work out the difference between the first term in the sequence and the fifth term in the sequence. So let's find the first term and the fifth term of the sequence and work out the difference between them. Okay, so let's have a look at our numbers in the sequence, see what's happening. So we've got 80 and then 20. Well, that means that you're multiplying by a quarter. So if you do 80 multiplied by a quarter, you get 20. 
So here, if I wanted to find the next term, I would divide by 4. So 20 divided by 4 is equal to 5. Or if you do 20 times a quarter, that's equal to 5. Um, obviously, the terms in the sequence are getting smaller. Now, if we're going to go backwards to find the second term and the first term, well, the numbers are going to obviously be bigger. We've divided by 4, so we multiply by 4. 80 times 4 is 320. And you can check that. If you're 320 times a quarter, you get 80. And if we multiply by 4 again, well, 320 times 4 would be 1,280. So we find the first term in the sequence and the fifth term in the sequence. And we've been asked to find the difference between them. So we're going to do 1,280 take away 5, and that's equal to 1,275. So that's the answer, 1,275. That's the difference between the first term and the fifth term. And if you got that, well done. Okay, let's have a look at our next question. So our next question says the first three terms of a geometric sequence are 3, 6 root 2, and 24. And we've been asked to write down what the next term is. So feel free to press pause now and work out the next term in this geometric sequence, the fourth term. Okay, so in this question, I'm going to have a look first of all and see what we're multiplying by each time, so what the common ratio is. So I'm going to divide the second term by the first term. So if we take the second term, which is 6 root 2, and we divide that by the first term, which is 3, what do we get? Well, 6 lots of root 2 divided by 3 would be 2 lots of root 2, so that's 2 lots of root 2. So that means that each time we're multiplying by 2 root 2. And let's just check that. If we've got 3, and we multiply that by 2 root 2, we get 6 root 2. And actually, let's just check it again. So we're multiplying by multiply by 2 root 2. And let's just check that. If we've got 6 root 2 and we multiply that by 2 root 2, do we get 24? So if we've got 6 root 2 and we multiply that by 2 root 2, the common ratio, do we get the 24? So 6 times 2 is equal to 12. And then we've got root 2 times root 2, which would be root 4. The square root of 4 is 2, so we've got 12 times 2, which is 24. So that's it. that would be the third term. Now we've been asked to find the next term, so we need to multiply by that number again. We need to multiply by 2 root 2. So we're going to take 24 and multiply by 2 root 2. So we're going to do 24 multiplied by 2 root 2. Well, 24 lots of 2 root 2 would be 48 lots of 2 root 2. So the answer would be 48 root 2. And if you got that, well done. Okay, let's have a look at one more question. So this time we've been told that S is a geometric sequence. So we've got this geometric sequence and all the terms of S are positive integers. So this sequence are all positive integers. There's no negatives there. And we're told the first three terms of S are 8 x and 72 and we've been asked to find the value of x we want to find the value of this number here so feel free to press pause now and figure out this value here the second term of the sequence Okay, so let's have a look at this question. So this question, you may have tried it using trial and error and got the answer that way, and that's fine if you did. Uh, but I'm going to show you an approach where is the, if these numbers were quite tricky and trial and error was, you know, quite difficult. And we're going to show you how I would approach this question using what we've been looking at today. So in terms of a geometric sequence, we know that we're multiplying by the same number each time. So that means that if you take the second term and you divide it by the first term, you'll find what you're multiplying by. But also, if you divide the third term by the second term, you get that same number. Or if you do the fourth term divided by the third term, you get the same number. Or the 99th term divided by the 98th term, you get the same number and so on. So if you divide a term by the previous term, you'll always get what you multiply by. So that means that if I do the second term divided by the first term, that'll tell me what I'm multiplying by. The second term divided by the first term, that'll tell me what we're multiplying by. And likewise, if we do the third term divided by the second term, we'll get the same thing. So that means that x divided by 8 will be the same as 72 divided by x. So let's write that 72 divided by x. So we've got the second term divided by the first term is the same as the third term divided by the second term. Okay, so we've got an equation, so let's solve it to find x. So with this equation, you could multiply both sides by 8 and then multiply both sides by x if you wanted to. When you've got a fraction equals a fraction, you could use cross multiplication. So you could just multiply the numerator by the denominator and put that equal to the other numerator multiplied by the other denominator. And that's what I'm going to do. x times x is x squared. And 8 times 72, well, 8 times 72, and that's equal to 576. So I've just used cross multiplication now. You could, if you wanted to, multiply both sides by 8 to begin with, and you would get that x equals... 576 divided by x and then multiply both sides by x to get x squared equals 576 and that's fine as well okay so we now want to solve this x squared equals 576 so a number squared is 576 well the square root of 576 is 24 so that means that x can be either 24 or negative 24 so it's plus or minus 24 x can be equal to either 24 or x can be equal to negative 24. But in this question, x cannot actually be equal to negative 24 because it says that all the terms in the sequence are positive integers. So x equals negative 24 can't actually work in this particular question. So the question said find the value of x. The answer is 24. And if you got that, well done.
And that's it. So in this video, we've looked at geometric progressions. I hope you found it useful. Try the practice questions today. I'll put a link to them in the description below. And keep up the hard work. You're doing really, really well. There's 11 days to go. Uh, you should be proud of yourself for all the effort you've put in so far. You know, you've worked the whole way through these videos. You're doing so much work in class and at home and so on. One big, big push to the end, and you're going to do really well. So I'll see you tomorrow for the next video. Cheers. Bye.